Alright guys, so after the massive smoke show we had from um, getting it running, decided that it's worth at least checking the compression, which I probably should have done from the very beginning. So here we go. Wide open throttle. That looks pretty good. What does that say? What is that? 100, 140. 150. It's better than my road bike. Unbelievable. Mad. Yeah, well, it started and ran so well. So, well, it started really well, but it wouldn't sort of rev out. So, I'd say it is the valve seals. I bought some real thick oil stuff to put in there, like that no smoke stuff. So, we'll give that a go. But I'd say I need new valve seals. But at least it's not the rings as well. That's good. So there it is, running in the distance. You can see the smoke not super clear on the camera but that's just an idle. I've put some of the stop smoke in there. I don't know, whatever that is, just the neck of it. Because it's only a one litre sump so you're only meant to put 10% of that stuff in there. I think I'm going to end up putting like half the bottle in. But anyway, we'll see how this goes. Let it run for a while, circulate, blah blah blah. There's a lot of blow by though. Even though it had 150 psi there was a lot of blow by. I couldn't pour it in with the engine running, I actually had to turn the engine off because the blow-by was so much it was blowing the oil back out as it was trying to dribble in, so... Anyway, I'll record in a couple of minutes and see if there's any improvement, but that smoke's getting worse. So... I might stop it, put a bit more in, start it again. Well, after putting an entire bottle of this, or just about an entire bottle of this, into a thousand cc's of uh, oil, which is like four or five times more than recommended. It has not improved the situation. So, I've never been much of a fan of the Newlon products, but I don't know if it's the product's fault or if it's the, uh, the engine is just totally needs serious attention. I mean, who knows? It might not even have any valve seals in it. Someone might have done all sorts of weird stuff to it. Who knows? But... I think the only real solution is to pull the whole thing apart and rebuild it. I don't know if we've got the energy and or inclination to do that, so... I wanted this to be ready for two weeks, in two weeks. For two weeks' time, when there's a bit of a rally thing on, which would have been fun. But I can't imagine getting this torn down, getting the parts ordered, and arrived and back together. Plus sorting out the electrical system in the next two or three weeks, I just can't imagine that actually happening. So. I don't know what we're going to do with this. If you want to buy it, hit me up in the description. Oh, in the comments, rather. Because it runs, like, it idles really well. It's fucking real smoky. Will we keep the bike and rebuild it? Is this the perfect adventure bike? Leave a comment if you'd like to see more of the moto. Check out tridandtrue.com.au for all your moto adventure needs.